The word, Father, applies to him. It's like insulting the people. He is a revered priest. Wash the souls of others in the name of God. At night waving a whip. Draw your wife covered in bloodstains. Wife swallowed up and was sucked out, and humbly plead for her forgiveness. But this can no longer satisfy men's desires. His claws actually reached out to his own daughter. My wife knows he's insane. Be careful to remind him, that's your biological daughter. Unfortunately, all he got in exchange for was merciless whipping of his daughter, hiding at the door and witnessing everything. The next day, Zimai's first time in the bathroom. He understands. Can't let father know he's grown up. Panic to wash away the blood stains. But my mother saw this scene. He endured the panic in his heart and comforted his daughter. This is a normal psychological phenomenon. In the following days, father always stands by the window, quietly watching Xiaomei, even asked Xiaomei to help him take a shower. My mother finally couldn't help but scold him. It's you, just finished speaking, the sound of a slap will sound. After a merciless beating, my wife was taken to the carriage to punish women for being too talkative. The man pulled her to the blacksmith shop, made a pair of iron masks from gold and iron. Except for eating and drinking water, it never opens. However, what goes even further is still ahead. He took his wife to the church, ridiculously mocking Xiaomei in front of everyone, watching my mother silently endure, can't help but say. Mother finally couldn't bear to get up and leave. The man is still chatting on stage. My wife suddenly descended from the sky, completed the struggle against life with a hemp rope. Men not only have no trace of sadness, he cursed his wife with the most malicious language. Xiaomei's face was filled with tears of shock, but couldn't say a word. The deep despair gave him the idea of fleeing. But how can he escape? My mother hung in front of everyone. Father is cursing his mother's body. Xiaomei was so scared that she couldn't say a word. This day, two seriously injured cowboys passed by. Xiaomei is afraid of being discovered by her father. Dragged them into the pigsty for treatment. Da Zhuang is grateful to the girl. But another cowboy is salivating at Xiaomei's beauty. Every time Xiaomei comes to deliver rice, cowboys always flirt with him. Taking advantage of the cowboy's toilet time, Da Zhuang asked Xiaomei to help him find a rope. Then Da Zhuang held a rope and put it around the cowboy's neck. Last, in Xiaomei's gaze, the cowboy died in despair. Da Zhuang will pass this matter, let Xiaomei learn to resist. Early morning, father leads Xiaomei into the church, saying to marry Xiaomei according to God's will. Xiaomei turned around and ran after listening, but being held in a hug, and then the mother's special eye mask was put on Xiaomei's mouth again. Just as Xiaomei fell into despair, the righteous light shines on the earth. Da Zhuang walked in, aim a gun at the man's head, retrieve the iron mask from him, the key was thrown to Xiaomei, but supporting roll off and dive talkativeness, the man forcefully twisted the muzzle of the gun, let Da Zhuang receive the box lunch, Xiaomei was dragged by her father in the mud and whipped mercilessly like her mother, look at the blood stains on her back, father is very satisfied with his masterpiece, after one night, while my father is still asleep, Xiaomei sneaked away barefoot, running towards the unknown distance, I don't know how long I've been running, he fell to the ground exhausted, Open your eyes again, there are three unfamiliar faces in front of me. Unfortunately, saving him wasn't a good person either. They will familiarize Xiaomei with dressing up, sold at a high price to a bar. Years of time passed by in a hurry, the vortex of fate swept through this poor girl again. A distinguished guest has arrived at the bar. This is Xiaomei's father whom she hasn't seen in years. Xiaomei trembled with fear, put on a black mask, attempting to muddle through, but his father still recognized him at a glance with a little wisdom behind him. Father, pulling out the belt. Beat her daughter Xiaomei, so hard that she's too scared to resist, can only cry out in pain for help. Her mute friend rushed over at the sound. The man wants to attack him, but was scratched in the face by a mute knife. Men are irritable and despondent, twisted the dagger and stabbed the mute heart. The death of a friend awakened Xiaomei. She pushed down her father with one hand. Pull out the dagger from the mute body. If you kill someone, you must pay for it. Xiaomei exchanged clothes with a mute at the scene of forgery, and then burn away the evil past with a torch. She wants to live as a mute, then you must cut off your tongue. Friend, I can't do it. She'll do it herself. Five years later, she married a widow, gave birth to a lovely daughter. I thought I could live a peaceful life. Who knew that the voice of the new priest in the church was like a demon in hell? Xiaomei turned her head in disbelief. It's her haunted father. The scars on my face are still there. Clear. The fire that night failed to kill him. Xiaomei dares not take risks with her peaceful life now. She decided to take the lead first. Xiaomei came alone to her father's residence. Take out a dagger and prepare to commit suicide. Unexpectedly, there was only one doll left on the bed. She realized that the situation was not right. But back home, father is no longer breathing. The house was also set on fire. She fled with the children all the way. The son left by the husband was killed by a demonic father in pursuit. Xiaomei rushed into the small house sponsored by her father. Throw the kerosene lamp on his father. Then raise the shotgun. Press the trigger. Killing is ultimately a matter of paying for one's life. Xiaomei locks the iron chain. Take a small boat with you. 
she's about to be presented to court. She looked back at it. Lovely daughter. A comforting smile hung on his face. At least my daughter won't be subjected to inhuman abuse again. Xiaomei seems to have completed her mission. Death is the best liberation for her. 